In your view, how important is it for the director to be a leader on set? And if so, what are some of the verbal cues, nonverbal cues that they are the leader? How do you feel like you can trust them to be led? Well, that, that's a, a really good question that I've never really sat and thought about before. Uh, I, th I think it's important for there to be somebody in charge on the set because, you know, there are actors are strange creatures. They have egos and, and opinions. And I remember one movie that I shot uh, a few years ago where the director and the star were constantly fighting publicly in front of the rest of the cast, screaming at each other. I want you to do it this way. No, I'm not going to do it this way. That's bullshit. I, I'm, I'm not going to play the character this way. And I mean, it made the rest of us, I mean, we were, you know, just waiting to shoot something and they would be having these screaming arguments with each other in front of everybody. And it, it sort of makes you feel uncomfortable and, and takes away your focus from what you're, you're there to concentrate on and delivering the kind of performance you want to, a real authentic performance. It, it was not a happy set. And I, I will say that in this case, I believe that the actor who had the problem shouldn't have signed on to the project. This is not the first time, I'm guessing, that, that he uh, was made aware of how the director wanted him to play this role. I mean, don't sign on to a project if, you're, if you and the director aren't on the same page and have the same general vision, I don't think. So I don't know where this came from, but it was a very uncomfortable experience. And, and uh, yes, I think there, there has to be a leader, and the director's the guy that, uh, that does that, I, I, in, in my opinion. I've also been on shoots where things were a, a sort of chaotic and maybe morale wasn't the best, and uh, another actor stepped up and sort of brought the cast together and, and uh, gave them a pep talk. And, you know, let's get through this thing. We can do this. Um, it may not be gone with the wind, but uh, we're going to, you know, hold our heads high and give the best performances we can and walk out of here feeling good about what we did. And uh, that's happened a couple of times, too, where the director really wasn't the one in charge and, and things were rapidly falling apart. But another actor stepped up and, and pulled it together. So, yes, I do think that it's important that um, there be a chain of command and somebody at the top to make decisions and rally the troops and motivate people and inspire people and give especially the actors a play, and I hate this word sometimes, it sounds so warm and fuzzy, give them a safe place to do what actors do. Um, that's important, that's important. And some directors just won't let actors be actors. They won't let them do what they do. They want a particular, some directors are technical directors. They know what they want technically, but they're, they're not the best at communicating to actors in, in, in a language that actors can understand and then translate into um, a performance. Um, other actors are actors direct, or, or other directors are actors directors who can speak that language and, and um, and aren't afraid to let the actors do what they do and take those risks and, and maybe try things that are a little bit off the beaten path and, um, and experiment. So that's what gives the feeling of a safe set in some ways, you think? When, when that director is just more willing to give leeway, it's not so based on the script and, and there's just more room for sort of trying things differently? I, I like that environment. I, I, I kind of prefer that. Um, it's, a, it's a symbiotic relationship, and there's a lot of trust involved. The director has to trust the actors that they know what to do, and the actors have to trust the vision of the director as well. Um, most of the time, it's a very happy collaboration, uh, but sometimes derails a little bit one way or the other, but uh, most of the time gets back on track again. Uh, us usually it works out well. 
Sure. Well, anytime you're dealing with a large group of people, there's sort of a mob mentality, you know? Yeah. And, and, and one bad thing could send it one way or the other. And so, uh, how have you seen an actor, or excuse me, a, a director steer the ship back? Let's suppose some things happen, weather issues, whatever, technical problems, and the morale's bad, it's late at night. Without naming names, have you, have you seen somebody steer it in the right course, and, or maybe just by saying it's a wrap for the day? And just then, away <laughs> from the, the rocks that we're imminently gonna crash into yeah. and, and turn the project into a disaster? No, I've never mm -hmm. been on one of those, okay. luckily. No, I never have. Um, some days are not as good as others. And I think you're right. Uh, uh, you have to make a decision to just wrap for the day. Mm -hmm. Let everybody go have a cocktail or have a good dinner or a great night's sleep. And, and tomorrow's another day. You know? And I've, I've, seen, I've seen things turn around after a good night's sleep. Yeah, that we're, that we're headed for <laughs> imminent disaster uh, before the director called Let's wrap for the day. Yeah.